Here's a 1971 Torino GT. It's mostly original. It's a 302 automatic power steering, power brakes. So you can see it's got the hideaway headlights. It's grabber green metallic, believed to be most, if not all, original paint. It's got the laser stripes. No rust, no bubbles, no rust repairs, just as solid as a body as you're going to find. Of course, uh, being older paint, it, it's got uh, plenty of patina. It's uh, probably a 20 or 30 footer. It's got plenty of chips and road rash and scratches, and etc. Laser stripes are showing their age. Still looks very presentable. Still shines. Shows just over 62,000 miles, and uh, I don't have documentation, but believe it to be original mileage. You can see there's no rust, no bubbles. It's got the uh, correct rocker panels and the uh, thin aluminum trim that goes above the rockers that it's, it seems like it's almost always missing from 71's uh, and it's in real nice shape. It's got some water drips on it but no bubbles. The original wheels, ring trim rings and tires, or excuse me, uh, rings and caps. The tires are were new, replaced last year. They're like brand new, of course. Same thing on this side. Nice rocker trims, uh, rocker moldings. No rust down here. You can see the various chips, touched up spots, etc. But no rust. Very, very straight car. There's only two, well, there's a small, little small ding there. Might be able to see. Uh, it's a real small dent right there. And then there's a little crease it's right there really crease doesn't start till behind the stripe but the stripe was obviously scratched other than that real straight the glass is good the windshield appears to be the original car light chrome or under the windows and the bumpers have uh, pitting. Grill needs to be, the black needs to be repainted, but as you can see the chrome's in pretty decent shape. Needs a little more cleanup, but far better than most. Grill's not cracked. See how nice the door jams are. Still see the door tag like it's like it's brand new. Under the doors you can see how clean rust free they are. Real tight seams. Same thing here. Just really clean, tight. Tight seam, no swelling, no bulging, no rust popping through. Passenger door jam, same thing. You can see there's no overspray on anything. Door latches are 
Same thing with the seams, all really nice. Same thing on the passenger door. Really clean. Tail lights are nice, nice trim. There's some black overspray on some of the lenses, but it wipes off very easily. Balances are real straight. Look at the trunk. It's really clean. No rust at all around the above the taillights where they often rust in the gutter. All looks really nice. Underside of the trunk lid. Looks really good. Original sticker is still on there. Has some old stickers from getting tires. Still has that original sticker and the yellow X from Ford. That's how clean this this thing is in here. Uh, really nice trunk lip. No swelling. Let's see ya. Original trunk mat. It's obviously tearing in a few places, but as well as the original cardboard filler panels. Just really nice original paint. You can still see the where it's bare metal from the factory where they mount them on their jig. Really nice. Quarters down there, really nice. No rust. No patch panels or anything. It's really clean. Same thing on this side. Really clean. Same cardboard filler still there, original one. Really clean on this side too. Just couldn't ask for a nicer trunk. Trunk light even works. Of course it has the original jack, spare, lug wrench, everything. Just took it out of the trunk to get better pictures. Take a look under the front of the Trino. Obviously it's original. But pretty clean overall. Real original. Cross member looks good shape, not all bent up. Really nice floors. So you can see it was never undercoated. That's just a spot where I wiped it, the dirt off and it's down to the green overspray from the factory. And there's the original, you know, primer. Really clean underneath. All original floors. Really clean. See another spot there. Water wipes it off. You can see just just wipes right off and gets down to the original. This undercarriage would uh, clean up and look really nice. Same thing here. Really clean drops. Really good on the bottom of the quarters. Same thing there. Get down to the green overspray from the factory. Just really clean. Tailpipe has a couple holes in it back here. Should be replaced, but that's but structurally really, really good. Passenger side, same thing. Really 
really solid. Passenger side, same thing. Really clean. Pretty much won't find a nicer undercarriage on one of these. Seat reinforcements haven't been jacked on, aren't bent like so many of them are. The interior. Original dash pad is really nice. It's got aftermarket <clears throat> some gauges, tack, and radio, and the uh, door speakers. Obviously, some of the interior is showing its age with the yellowing, but it's all original upholstery. Other than the probably could be cleaned up better but really I think it's part of what shows that it is 62,000 miles. It has the automatic seat release so when the doors open the uh, seat automatically seat lock automatically releases but when the door is closed it's locked. It's got a really nice headliner. Original package tray with the uh, factory speaker slots. It's not warped. It's got one little tiny little break that could probably be glued, but in one of the grates because it's just cardboard basically. But it's fiber board, whatever. Really, really nice overall. I believe, other than the carpet, I believe has been replaced. Other than that, I believe it to be all original interior. All the electrical works, uh, turn signals. Heat, the controls move nice. Of course the AC doesn't work. Uh, everything is there, it's untouched. But of course it's gonna need a service. Uh, fuel gauge works, temperature gauge works. The aftermarket gauges and tack works. Even the reverse lights work. Uh, the only things that don't work are the horn, which is common to these aftermarket steering wheels, and this aftermarket radio. Interior uh, lights work. Door buzzer works, as you can hear. The automatic seat back releases work. Uh, wipers, everything uh, else works nicely. Even the glove box light works. Start it up real quick and you can see the oil pressure. Uh, as you can hear, it needs uh, tailpipes. They're rusty, so it's got exhaust leak, but. You can see the oil pressure. You can see it's oil pressure's over 50 pounds at idle. Uh, temperature gauge doesn't, aftermarket temperature gauge doesn't seem to work because it's actually warmed up. Uh, but you can see the uh, original one does. And we'll take it for a drive here in a second. Take the Torino for a quick drive through the gears. under the hood. You can see 
Here's the engine compartment. It's had a aluminum intake and a Holly carb added, uh, some Mickey Thompson valve covers. Still has the original exhaust manifolds, still has the stock cam. Uh, it's really uh, mostly original. Uh, all the AC is present. Uh, actually, when I bought it, the belt was still on, but since it needed to be serviced, I just pulled the belt off so it's clutch isn't, or the bearing's not seized or anything, just needs to be serviced. It does come with a new uh, condenser, new dryer, um, and a uh, what appears to be an NOS compressor. Maybe it's rebuilt by Motorcraft. I'm not sure, but all that is included with the car. All brand new. Um, engine compartment is nice. Doesn't have, uh, I mean, obviously it's original and needs to be detailed, but it doesn't have holes in the shock towers and uh, the aprons are in good shape. We'll do a cold start here. Engine doesn't smoke or knock. Uh, car could use some maintenance. It hasn't really been driven in the last few years much at all. Uh, really could probably use a tune-up. Uh, could use valve cover gaskets and maybe a little brake work. I mean, you, you could drive it the way it is certainly, but I would, I would do some basic maintenance before driving it extensively. But uh, it's a sound motor and transmission. Overall, this is just an extremely solid, mostly original Torino that would be great for a driver pretty much as is with just a little bit of maintenance type work. Or obviously you could certainly paint it and take it to the next level, but really it, it presents well and so original. It'd be a great car just to leave it mostly the way it is.